It's the Full Force News Burst Extra, brought to you by GeneralsJoesReborn.com, with me, Christopher McLeod, aka Diagnostic80. A while back during Yojo June, the G.I. Joe brand team revealed a new name coming to the Classified series. So let's talk Firefly again. Alrighty then, let's continue with the name only reveal deep dives and up next is a character who already has a figure in the line and that's Firefly. So back during Yojo June, the G.I. Joe brand team revealed a few more names joining the classified line including Firefly and Ripper, who we already looked at a few days ago. Firefly was an interesting choice seeing as we already had the character in the line but it was mentioned that they would be doing him again based on a lot of fan feedback from the first release. Yet this one is a bit easier as it's highly likely we'll be getting a vintage version 1 inspired design after they really went in a different direction with that initial figure. I have to preface this by saying that I really enjoyed the updated Firefly with that crazy good head sculpt, modern bomb squad padded covering and a crap ton of super interesting accessories. Alas, the fandom were quite vocal regarding the changes to the character, shock fucking horror, and now it looks like we will be getting a more vintage feeling figure. Lenny joked at the time that it was a version 2 but not in the sense of the vintage line where he was bright green and grey and had a very different look entirely. No, he was was referring to version 2 in classified, which ironically means version 1 in vintage. Confused? Yeah, me neither. It's not that hard to follow. I've just made it more complicated with all these unnecessary words. So what do I expect? Well, a pretty close approximation to the original for sure, but I do imagine they will tinker with certain aspects. I can see them giving him the cross strap secondaries, but I wouldn't be surprised to see just the one strap with grenades and the other pouches sort of being moulded onto the torso. It will be a new head sculpt for sure, but I hope they can capture the same intense feeling that the first figure had. I truly expect the biggest winner to be the accessories. Of course, the submachine gun and walkie-talkie have to be in there, but my soul needs the backpack to have an opening latch storing a ton of small tools and explosive devices, otherwise I will cry it. That's cry and riot at the same time. I would actually like them to upgrade this element of the pack to make a removable toolbox and sort of zhuzh it up a bit like the recent 3-0 figure. In fact, the 3-0 figure might be a good baseline for the new classified figure, as we have seen similar design crossover with certain classic characters by different companies in the past. I could also see them using a lot of that stalker body for the base and just cover him in secondaries really. Maybe that will happen, or at least use those arms because the cuffs are spot on. So with it being odds on that it's the version 1, then we can discuss the only possible repaint, even though there are many, that I care about. Yep, you guessed it, Tiger Force Unreleased Sabretooth or Released Wreckage. I assume Sabretooth is off the table as a name, thanks Marvel, so wreckage it is. Way back in 1988, a number of Tiger Force figures showed up in a Hasbro Toy Fair catalogue, including a few that would never get released. One of them was a Firefly version 1 figure repainted as a new character called Sabretooth. The character eventually saw release as wreckage a few times and in different forms. Now if they were to do a classic Firefly, then they would have an instant reuse for a Target exclusive Tiger Force wreckage, and I would be here for it all day long. Having not been upset at all with the first classified Firefly, I do come around to this one knowing that they could give us something very cool with an easy Tiger Force repaint of this latest Cobra Saboteur figure. He's had a few redesigns over the years, we've already mentioned his version 2 which was used as a Ninja Force character during the Marvel comics at the time, and it's a version I do have fond memories of. Even though the Arashikagi storyline got a bit convoluted with his involvement as the Faceless Master, it was still a fun read and a shocking reveal. That figure got two decos as well, the green and grey in 1992 and the green and black in 1993 on the updated Battle Core card back. Following that, we did see the classic figure getting all kinds of interesting repaints, which would take me so long to go through them all, so just enjoy this screen for a few more seconds. In 2002, he was heavily redesigned for the G.I. Joe vs. Cobra era, having both a two-pack release with Nunchuck and a single card release with a Mission Disc. Then only two years later, he was redesigned again for Valor vs. Venom in a two-pack with Sergeant Stalker. The 25th release began a regular rollout of the modern figure for most years, with movie and animation versions of the character thrown in for good measure up until 2015. What I'm getting at is there's plenty of options for repaints or future redesigns for the character in Classified. I do expect that the version 2 will be done eventually and I will also point out that a Crimson repaint exists with that multi-store exclusive 8-pack from 2002, and Hasbro are loving that right now so it wouldn't be outside the realms of possibility that the Twins, the Crimson Guards and the Crimson Bats get a new addition to the Red Ranks. I would also take a white arctic repaint like this beauty from the Cobra Polar Force 3-pack in 1998. Fresh. And that's pretty much all I have to say on the matter. 
It's odds on he will be closer to the vintage version 1, but what do you guys think? Will the new head sculpt be as good or better? Will he get all those awesome accessories? Are you excited to see a tiny toolkit? Let me know in the comments below. Ok then, I will catch you on the next one, stay fresh cheese bags, and as always, full force. That's it for this instalment of the Full Force News Burst Extra. Thank you for watching, make sure to like, comment and subscribe. See you next time, and as always, Full Force. Make sure you get involved with the discussion by liking, sharing and commenting on these videos and as always you can keep up with the show after listening by following on Twitter at The Full Force, liking the Facebook page facebook.com forward slash The Full Force and if you would like to contact the show you can message us on either of those platforms with feedback and questions. We also have a Patreon page so if you want to show your support for the show, see your name up in lights on these videos or enjoy exclusive bonus content then check out patreon.com forward slash the full force podcast or click on the link on any of the posts this podcast appears in full force